What I want to talk to you today is specifically about your tools that you have right now in your tool belt and the tools that will help you accomplish recovering and overcoming your current issues with PNES, PTSD, anxiety attacks, depression, and whatever else, you know, whatever labels um, best identify what your struggles are right now. In our past, there was some sort of event that happened which mandated us to come up with a new routine, a new way of handling fear, a new way of handling stress. Many times, because we're young when these events happen, we don't have the ability to reach out, to process, to say to ourselves, is this healthy, is this unhealthy? We just do because we're in a stage of what psychologists call fight or flight. Well, you move up a little bit and now we're here in our life. We're not experiencing the same problem necessarily that we did over here, at least not an unplanned. But like they say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So understandably, we have this period of time where we're using old coping skills. Maybe um, we have poor anger management. So maybe we throw things or we yell or we curse or I don't know, we, we use sex or we use drugs or we use something that we should not be using in order to cope with our day-to-day -day events. So this is this period of time. Now a new event happens. Maybe it's PNES, maybe it is anxiety attacks or long-term depression, this event happens. This serves us to reflect on how we've been living, what tools we've been using, what tools we were given in our youth in order to live successfully. This event here shows us that those tools did not serve us. This is an opportunity. This event right here, PTSD, PNES, whatever brought it to the surface, whatever erupted our life, that said, this is not working properly. This is not helpful. This is not successful. This is not what life is about. This event right here, this can serve us to create replacement tools for this. We don't need these anymore. So we can, because we live in an age of information, we live in an age of empowerment, really. We can take those tools, say, this is what I used when I was angry. This is what I used when I was sad. This is what I used when I was happy. Well, you can find constructive tools and replace each of those things. This falls back with people too. We've gravitated towards certain people because maybe certain people made us feel a certain way. That's an addiction. Relying on other people to make you feel a certain way is not something that you can it's not sustainable. You can't sustain that for very long and that in itself becomes an addiction because then you need those people or that type of person to bring you back to that feeling. We need to be empowered to feel healthy without people, places, or things. We need to be self-sustaining. So the purpose of this video today is talk about tool replacement. There are many, many, many tools that you can use that are healthy. You can look on the internet and really, I need to say that if you are on the road to recovery or you're just shopping around, I just want to plant seeds today. That's all I'm doing. I'm not telling you that this is what you have to do. I just want you to open your heart and listen and just digest this a little bit. See if this resonates with you. Maybe you are using things that you don't need anymore. Maybe your life isn't requiring the fight or flight mechanisms that it did before. So I just want you to just listen and digest. And if this resonates with you, that would be wonderful. Then you can take these next steps. What I did to recover from PTSD and PNES is I learned. I had to replace my old knowledge, my old head knowledge, with new head knowledge. I had to build new belief systems. 
I had to stop thinking that the world's not fair and understand that I'm empowered more than the world is. So what I need to do is put the responsibility on me. Now in my walk, in my journey, I have a higher power and that higher power is God and Jesus and they are the ones who guide me that's my guidance system as far as where I know what right is and what wrong is because I don't live according to my own standards that's what I did back here I look at wisdom I look in books in the Bible to help me guide what I'm going through obviously the Bible doesn't talk about things like the internet or go into much detail about raising kids. It's more general practices. So then I talk to people who have successful relationships with their kids, who have successful coping skills. And so I use wisdom in that way that I've learned from those books. So having some clear guidance system that to use is really, really critical. And whatever works for you, whatever it is that that connects with you. But I will tell you that mine, the only one that has connected over however many years is God. Now that too is a tool because I could, I could go and take a wrench and I could put it on my desk and or put it next to a leaky faucet and it could be there. But unless I know how to use it, that wrench is not going to stop the faucet from leaking. That's the same for any tool that you have. Communication is a tool and many of us are stunted and our, our economy, or not our economy, but our society is not helping us in any way because our economy has to become dependent on keeping people distracted, keeping people in bubbles. We use typing instead of words, instead of face-to-face -to, -face to communicate with people. Instead of the phone, we'd rather just get a quick point across. But that stunts our ability to teach communication skills to the next generation. So that's one thing. Communication skills is really important. You need to be able to clearly identify within yourself what it is you need, and you need to clearly be able to express that need to somebody else. And not only express it to somebody else, but to be able to evaluate somebody that you're talking to and say, is this even the right person to talk to? You have to live with intention, do things with intention. So there are many tools. The library is the most amazing resource, better than Google. The library is a great resource, and if you're not keen on the library, then go on the library's website. There is, um, I know the two libraries that in the different counties that I have lived in, they have an Ask a Librarian section, so you don't even have to go there. But it is a valuable resource, so start collecting resources that will help you replace your old tools with newer and effective tools that will lead you to recovery. This is going to take work. And again, this is something that I learned over, I don't know, I think I started these videos about three and a half years ago. So you can see a big difference from then to now and work is what it is that got me from here to there. Well, God too, but work. Because <laughs> he didn't magically poof and all of a sudden my PTSD and my seizures were gone. He just gave me another chance. So this is what I want to give to you though. All the work that I've done, I just want to plant seeds and allow you to just speculate and think, do I think any of these things would help? They obviously do help, but the question is, do you believe that they could help you? And that's where I want to leave you today. Just wish you all the best. God bless.